Welcome back to Rolling with the Fishers. After 13 long years, we are back. We are back. That's we right. are back. We are back at D23. For 2024, D23 is held at the Anaheim Convention Center, just down the street from the Disneyland Resort. From starting out as an expo, D23 is now the ultimate Disney fan event. Today, we'll check out everything Disney from the parks, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, merchandise, TV shows, and everything in between. Before we get started, if it's your first time rolling with us and you enjoyed that video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already and ring that bell so you know when to roll with us again. And you know what? Let's freaking go. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. To D23. All right, guys. So we are finally on our way, walking over to the convention center. We did park over here at Toy Story parking lot. Uh, we do get a discount with our magic key. We didn't want to do the parking at the convention center. Rumor is it's an S show, but strolling over. Um, it's about 8.40, doors open at 9, so we'll see what the queues look like. Eating breakfast? Eating breakfast because we can't bring food inside, so we're eating it on the way. I think we can only bring an empty water bottle, right? Yes. Okay. So, so we can fill up water there. All right. Let's go see. I think Wally's doing security out here, guys. <laughs> I think he might scan you. You better throw that stuff away in your bag because he might catch you. <laughs> There it is, yeah. <laughs> Alright, Wally, we'll see you later, bud. Bye, Wally. Alright, guys, we are waiting in line in security to scan our badges. What time has it been? Uh, I don't know, oh, 8.48. 8.48. Oh, that's not too bad. <laughs> These are like all the people that decided to wake up late with us and get in line. So we gotta scan our badge first to get in, and then we get to go through security check. And they're gonna have to check my belt again. This is for you, Kyle. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, now he finished with security check and we get one. They give you lanyards here. You get one. So you get one. And then over here we have the event guide. The event guide. After the event guide, you get swag bags. I don't know bags how much to carry all your stuff. I don't if they know. Have anything left. If, if anything's left or if that'll actually hold anything <laughs> all right guys we are here we're gonna be ready to get in but right outside of the convention center and the poster there is a big Salva what is it Salvar Salvarsky so <laughs> crystal laden sorcerer hat that has the d23 in front um we'll insert that picture here so just like anything else disneyland dude let's just get in line all right Let's get in, guys. Woo! And we are in. We are in. Man, look at this. And our first stop is where are we going? We're going we, to the merch? Yes. What's funny is I have a... My selfie yeah, is yeah. like from the escalator, like from oh, 2011. <laughs> oh, from uh, the last time yeah, we were here? Yeah, I think I'll take one on the way down. <laughs> yep, before and after. <laughs> yeah. Have fun, you too. So we're heading to the merch store because we have our queue is being called. All right, so we are headed into the Disney Marketplace. Want to see some classic merch, guys? Look at this. Guess what I have at home? I have one of these. <laughs> I think I have almost a lot of these toys, oh, I'm sorry, collectibles at home. Oh, the Amer oh my God, I remember, Do you remember the that American one? Girl The American Girl? Dolls. That's for you, Kai Winnie the Pooh. I woke up at 3.50 this morning. To get this, so. <laughs> to get this, we are number, t group number 21. 20. The thing with the 23, you gotta find this for everything. End of line starts here. We are officially in, guys. Let's see what we can get. And there she goes. <laughs> she just leaves me. When you come in, they have Mr. Toad Winky right here hanging out, telling you about his adventure. And they have a legit Mr. Toad car. And over here, 
you can actually get it's Ichabod and Mr. Toad, I believe. You get both of them. All right, guys, for the Star Wars side here, guess what? We are looking at the Chosen One Hilt, $550. They have two of them here. And she is holding the other one over here. So it's three of them. The Chosen One Legacy lightsaber set. We have the Kylo Ren helmet. I have one already, but this is the reforged helmet. It has battle damage. And here you have the droids. So here is the Star Wars Star Speeder, the vehicle from Star Tours. This limited to only 3,000. It's $300. But if you look in here, it's pretty cool, guys. It is actually Rex in there. Ah, so the button will turn it on and off. If, if you leave it untouched for a while, the movie will stop and you press the button and continue from where you left off. Oh, look at the official footage, guys. I think it was on this tour. Oh, so many effects. <laughs> that is so cool. And the door is also trying. Oh my god. <laughs> See Rex in there. How do you become the spy on this one? Uh -huh. <laughs> Darn, they got me again. <laughs> or are you? They're a spy. I don't know, we'll see. I got another spirit jersey, bro. It's pretty tight. <laughs> I like that because it's a dark side spirit jersey. There's a lot, all the dudes that are, you know, they could have did something else though. They could have did something instead of two stormtroopers. They could have did something else. Oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> Dang man, I might have to get that one. Shoot, what are we looking at? Eighty. Eighty bucks. We do get Normal. a magic. We do get a magic key discount. Mm. Thank you, at least. Well. All right, guys, for our official Funko heads that like the Funkos, these are official just to D23 from what I understand. Some of these, though, I think they were actually available at Comic-Con. See, so there's not even a, a D23 marker here. Um, got Spider-Man and Venom. They're supposed to have a Vader one, too, but that's a close-up of the Spider-Man and Venom. I don't know, maybe we'll get that one for Kai. He is a big fan of both of them. Here's one of the newest items that they're doing. It's called Disney Lacers. It's basically various uh, sets of shoes. So here are the actual shoes that you could possibly yes. get yes. <laughs> in the blind boxes. In the, well, yes. there's one blind with it. Ooh, there's actually an exclusive blind. Nice. In the black set and the okay. white set of lacers. Nice. And you can take the shoelace out uh -huh. and change Oh, races. once you start collecting a bunch yes. of different ones. Yeah, that and is so cool. And also I suggest that if you get two, that uh -huh. you start trading like you've been trading. Oh, is that, that's what they're going to lead to. Are, yes. And this is their first run of this, so obviously they're the going to start this developing. Right. Nice. I'd say maybe next year come out with the left foot. Okay, because this year we're putting the right foot forward. Okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we're picking up with the limited edition ones. and Yes. But now I'm seeing these and I'm like, oh, I want that chance. There's always that chance yes. of getting what you want. Yes. Cool. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. And of course, over here, there are limited edition. This is limited one per guest. It is Carl and Ellie. They're limited to a thousand. It is them on their wedding day. Two ninety nine. But besides that, this is you what. Our, our, our 20th anniversary is coming up. Yes, I know. How fitting is that? Well, let me see this. They're, they're, it's the cake serving. Like, I need a cake serving set. Uh huh. But it says thanks for the adventure. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> thanks yeah, that... for rolling. It should say thanks for rolling. Thanks for rolling on our adventures. <laughs> but no, that's that's pretty it's neat. It's cute. And then, <laughs> no, and then look at the cake topper. Okay, see, so if you're gonna do it, you gotta go all you out and get the cake out. topper. Yeah. You gotta get the serving set. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe for the anniversary party or the <laughs> the renewal vows on the Disney Magic. What? <laughs> all right, let's see what else they got here. Haunted Mansion. And fans. for my Haunted Mansion fans, look at that hat. That is pretty cool, guys. Maleficent. And even the shirts here. This is a Roosevelt. I don't know how much we're going for, guys. It's no price, but it's free. 
So here's what, it's not a blind box. You know what you're buying. You have the pairs. Uh, oh, basically of the heroes and the villain. Yeah. <laughs> so heroes and the villain, $34.99. I uh, believe these are designed by this lady. Stacy, hey, yo, mama? No, hey, yama. Hey, yo, yama. Sorry if I dissected, destroyed your name there, Stacy, but good job. <laughs> Gold star for Stacy for designing these vinyls. Cute. And here in the corner, these are all for sale. These are the Designer Midnight Masquerade series. Um, they are pretty pricey, but they got six different versions. Um, this one's from Miley, Mother Gothel, right? Mother Gothel. And you got Ariel. Oh, this is oh, I like this one, babe. Look at her with the with the mask; it's real intricate. And then you got the Queen of Hearts. Still want to do that costume, right? And Snow White. And dude, is this Gaston? <laughs> Look at my bro over here. That's sweet. And here on this back wall over here, you are celebrating the 70th birthday of Disneyland, uh, which is 2025. So they do have a limited edition um, pins over here to celebrate the 70th. They got limited edition hats, cups. Celebrate the 70th birthday. Hope I'm around so you guys can celebrate my 70th birthday like this. <laughs> All right, and for you Iron Man, Marvel fans, Avengers fans, if you got $400, you can get this Hot Toys Iron Man figure. Super detailed, guys. He even has an Iron Man spider bot, and if you guys know what that is, it's a shawarma. That's fine. So I could do this all day. No, on your... On your right? Don't say it. Don't you say it. left. Come on! <laughs> I'm done with you. <laughs> You're terrible. That is sweet, though. Dope. Can we see the inside? Oh yeah. And it, it says something. It does something. Yeah, there's sounds. Oh wait, there we go. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, it likes. Yeah, it hums. Swooshes and stuff. Yeah. Let's see. Let me get a good shot. Ready? Power stance. Ready? There you go. <laughs> cool. Vibranium, uh, sir. Yes, Vibranium. yes. Vibranium. Come on. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a pretty much a little bit of a fail, guys. I mean, we're hanging out here, walking around. A lot of the stuff that we really wanted to get is gone. But it's expected on day three. So I think we're going to check out and let's see what else we can get into, babe. What do you think? Yes. Cool. So right here next to the merch booth, there's a little Marvel area. There's a... Like backdrops. Good morning. There's a giant lizard. Wonder who they're talking about. Book to you or say, oh, so you can actually shop some of this stuff. Yo, Jen, you need that hoodie. Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> nice Marvel <laughs> backdrop over here. Oh, let's go. You gotta get. The Deadpool workout gear. Ooh, you Wolverine can get Wolverine gloves. boxing gloves. Yeah, they're by Hayabusa, I believe. Get you a Wolverine workout gear so when you hit the gym. Uh, you need the, the Wolverine. You need Captain uh, America whey protein. Whey protein. <laughs> Build America's ass. Let's go. Mr. Long. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> right? Dude, oh, I like that. That hoodie, though. This one's sick, man. I like that. Does it make you want to work out? No. No. Not when my bus I still don't me. want to work out. Not right now, at least. Stark Tower over here. That is sick. And then we got who's this? I got the Miles? 20. Yeah, in this 2020 suit. Kyle would like that one. Limited the all the holders. I'm sorry. Sure. No, no, I did not. Thank you. Cool, thank you. Oh, nice. If you want to work out to be a hero. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, try to. <laughs> runs, and I used to work out. Oh, cool. 5K with Thor and Loki. <laughs> 
See, you'll run the other way. You'll run towards him. You won't really? run away from him. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Well, we're in line. Luckily, this was just a standby. There wasn't no queue for this. I swear, if this was a real arcade, babe, I would have spent all my quarters here back in the day. So since there's two of us, since there's two of us, we get two credits. And it's credits to play a couple of games, I guess. So when you come in here, you have a choice of doing either ski ball or basketball. We choose ski ball because I can't do a jumper right now. 170, what you get? I don't know, it just keeps going. I got 170. 170. And you can press please. I got 270 something. Hold on. These are tight. Okay. Oh. Wow. Look at the steampunk. This guy, the egg attack. Oh, look, this looks familiar, babe. Look, look at this. Yeah. Cool, thank you. Yeah. Hello. Hi, Um, let's go Lego. <laughs> right on. Thank you. All right, let's let's see our free giveaway today at the Star Wars Dark Side Arcade. Seems like we got a couple of exclusive. Well, I don't know if they're exclusive, but we got an R2. We got an R2 Lego. And then we got a Han Solo figure. Nice. Mini fig. Han, Han Solo. He doesn't exist, bro. <laughs> if you know, you know the backstory of that, guys. All right. So. Bunch of cutouts. This guy's actually doing the art right now while we speak. He's actually painting. And then they have a, what is this, Abbey Road? Yeah. Yeah. If you guys actually want to hang out at the Disney store, there is a line, just like a line for everything. And there is a awesome... Do y'all remember going to the Disney store and you would go in the Mountain of Plushies? Yeah. So this is the throwback over here. I don't know, man. It looks like a complete S show. A lot of people in standby lines already. And... There's Deadpool. Deadpool's always hanging out. The skeleton crew. We have the effects booth over here. We're gonna go on the Disney Plus. That's the thing we're talking about, TV shows. <laughs> All right, this is for you, Kayo. Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Ah, nice. Did I make it? <laughs> that is cool though. Look at that with the shield, the helmet. Camp Half Blood. So, what if I grab it? It makes a noise? Yeah. Oh, let's go. That is cool. So, here's a little promo of a new TV show. It's called Win or Lose. So if you had little ones, you could actually, Bluey's gonna be coming out here to meet. There is a photo opportunity over here with Disney's Encanto. Um, but it's pretty cool. They have a lot of stuff over here at the Disney Plus. So we are here at the Disney Rewards Visa Cards from Chase booth. They have a couple of photo ops with Lord Vader and the supervisors of the solar system. So how you doing baby, making it, you okay? Just these lines, man, they're crazy. These Disney adults, man, they're crazy. I'm glad I'm not one. <laughs> that is me. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. So check it out. For being a Disney VC member, you get the lithograph. Cool. It's actually, I think it's the background that we took a picture with. Yeah, it was. And All right. Everybody gets a keychain. Sweet. So we are right here at Lucasfilm Limited. You can see there, there is a experience of actually being in a Star Wars hangar with an R5 unit. I am Vanessa Marshall, the voice of Hera Syndulla. I love you more. <laughs> I'm Athena Portillo, Vice President at Lucasfilm Animation. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome to 
to our conversation. Well, it is a pleasure to be here to talk about one of our favorite subjects, which is, of course, Star Wars. Absolutely. We have the honor of being involved in some very special Star Wars stories. And uh, most of those were created by Lucasfilm Animation, as we all know. All right, so we are in line finally for something I hope we can actually see. Um, <laughs> we are in the line for the Avatar experience. Yes. Um, so there was no like virtual queue. This is just a standby. It's a walkthrough experience. So this is for all our Avatar fans, people that love the James Cameron movies, people that love the ride in Disney World. This is the closest we'll get to, to seeing it before we actually make it over there to the East Coast. Very true. So, so far, I mean, just the lighting and what you see, it, it's a trip. Where, what are you doing? How do you feel? There's a I, couple of hiccups. I feel cheated out of something. Yeah, but hopefully we'll make up for it. We got to, we, we got to wait till those people leave all to the Honda Center, and then we'll see if the crowds die down a little bit. And then we'll get back into it, but hopefully Avatar will make us forget about a little bit of things, but uh, looks cool. I'm being optimistic. <laughs> What's up, Jake? How's it going, Jake? A little detail on that shit. What's up, Natiri? Avatar. So they have a bunch of displays of their actual heads. This is Tanawari. He was my favorite one in the second one. That is cool. I like these guys up here. They're stinging, huh? They're poison, that's why. Oh, look at this guy. Here are, this would probably be what they, how big they would be in real life maybe, I guess. So, here's a couple of their weapons. Babe, why don't you stand over here for reference? Because this for is what reference. they, because this is what they would be like in real life. 5'3". 5'3", probably 6'9", <laughs> I don't know. That is cool. And this is uh, the one, the character Zoe Zaldana played. Go, go next to it again, I wanna see. So if I they were three. real, <laughs> if they were real, that's how tall they would be. But not even, that's the, that's no, they'd not be even taller. their tallest, because look at, they're like. Their knees are bent, so they'd be taller than that. They'd be taller. Yeah. right in his eyes. Oh, these are the babies. Oh. Those are going to be huge. 
that's supposed to sit on your shoulder? <laughs> that's gonna be like all it's, it's like, That's gonna be cool though. If like, you really it, like Avatar. Like, like, it, it, like, yeah, so like if that was on like, your shoulder. It's gonna sit on your shoulder like that. Yeah. They're competing with the owl. At yes, yes. The wizard. <laughs> I don't know, that's gonna be super huge that's on my shoulder. Yeah, that's but. gonna be like huge on your shoulder. Like. <laughs> that's true. Uh, they're gonna be uh, like voice and like movement activated. Oh, really? So, oh, that's gonna be crazy. They'll be coming out in November. We'll oh, cool. Cool. So, over here, they do have some cutouts. This right here is Zootopia, like you're here in Zootopia. So it's pretty cool. They have little photo opportunities here with Maui's hook and Moana's paddle. Well, we just took a picture with the travelers, Moana and Maui. And after the picture, we were able to get a nice print here. So this is a print uh, promoting Moana too, only in theaters, November 27th. And you got to find your way. Chihu. 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 Travel on. Travel on. For some reason, here at D23, the Espen booth is empty. Espen! Espen. <laughs> mm -hmm, I wonder why. Let's go! Ooh, LSU! <laughs> Fight on! Fight on, but look, this is the poster that we tried to get, but it was... It's all gone! Sold out, I mean, it's all empty, but this was what the art that they used was the Iron Fist art, so they mimicked it from there. So Cap, and that's the Trojan, took the tiger, and that's him. Fake fan. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I leave you for like 10 minutes, and then I see you pick up merch. I picked up I picked up Winnie the Pooh from, um, I think it's called Stife. Uh-huh. Um, Walt Disney picked this company to make the first uh, plushes, right? plushes for the Disney company. So Sweet. I picked him up because he was soft and they gave a discount if you're a Disney Plus subscriber. <laughs> you leave me alone and I, I have a bite. I volunteered first. I was trying to ask you to grab me one of those granola bars, but they were oh, watching. No, 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 no. They, so you volunteer and you get the oh, nice. Disney hat. So cool. That's what you're doing the All right, so we're here at the Disney Cruise Line booth. I heard they're giving away free cruises, right? They're giving away free cruises, right? Right, right, right. <laughs> darn, darn, darn. I tried, I tried. <laughs> oh, because they're putting cocoa on the boats oh, now. Oh, they are. Yeah. Look, babe, we were right there on the Lido deck, right here. Not on this one. <laughs> I know, not on this one, but. This is the Wish. This is the Wish. Oh, this is yeah. the, the Haunted Mansion bar that they're putting yes, in. Yes, they're putting in a Haunted Mansion bar on one of the ships. So they have a little thing here that looks like you're in the foyer with Aladdin and Jasmine. I thought you were giving away free cruises. I know. No, you're not or at least to say that. upgrade the room. Uh, a room <laughs> I'll take one then. Thank you. Yes, so it's where magic meets the seas. Hopefully we'll get on a cruise soon and, and put this and on, put our on our door. door. So inside here in Imagineering Behind the Dreams, this is where you can get some um, previews of what's going on Disney related. Uh, we're gonna check that out, show you guys what we can see inside. Let's go. So this is the audio animatronics bringing characters to life. So you guys have probably heard the rumors, but there is a new ride coming to Disney's California Adventure. It is King Thanos himself. So here is a version of the ride. So right here is the new land that's coming to Paris. They're expanding it here, and then what they're gonna do, as you can see, they're gonna do a World of Frozen haunted mansion parlor that's gonna be coming to the Disney treasure. So cool, dude. 
This is the uh, bar on the treasure. Yo, now we are looking at some of the vehicles that are back related to Disney. We are at so they the have car pavilion. The car pavilion car show. See a lot of different things here. I think I see your ride here. The whole world according to moi. It is the Sharpe Evans Honda S2000. <laughs> okay, this one is Corella DeVille's Panther. Panther DeVille. Even look at her license plate. Yo, for our rollers, for our fans that used to ride the trams from 1968 to 1997. I legit remember getting onto these yellow and blue trams. Oh yeah, this is old school. From from where California Adventure is today, that used to be the parking lot and you would ride Just, it. You would park in that parking lot, walk up and jump on these trams. This is how I remember the tram seats. Yep. <laughs> With a little grip tape on your butt so the kids wouldn't slide. <laughs> what do you all know about the Homer? The Homer! Homer Simpson's 1987 BMW 325. Look at that. They recreated it here. <laughs> that is super cool, guys. We are now entering Portal to Worlds Beyond. How many of you have seen Prometheus? This is from 2089, so in about 60 years, this is what our SUVs are going to look like, guys. You're going to see this at Costco. Do y'all know the Minority Port Lexus Roadster? Yes. Do you remember that? Yes. Yeah? How about the, the Transporter? The Transporter? From Minority Report. Oh! Yes, I remember this one. Imagine just two seats looking at each other. Supposed to be transportation of the future. <laughs> yep. Hey, if I don't have to drive, I'll ride in it. And here we all love this popsicle stick. Ray used to. Ray, what the hell? Where's your head? They cut Ray's head off. Just kidding. Anyways, this is just a costuming. That's BB 8. This is a reforge station. So this is where she would collect her trinkets. She would clean them up and she would sell them. There's a gonk droid right here. It's cool, cool to see. But Ray, you need to get your head. Get your head, get your head in the game, Ray. So right here we have an Epic Mickey booth rebrushed. The wife used to play Epic Mickey on the Wii. I used to be obsessed with it. I even took a picture of it when we came to the expo in 2011. Yeah, they rebranded and re-released it. I just remember we would sit there and you, I would just watch you paint all the Disney parks. And then I got stuck on one part and then I just yeah, stopped Yeah, then you playing. quit and never yeah, played quit. again. Oh, yeah. That was from the Epic Mickey booth in, in 2011. 2011 at the second ever D23. Now it's Epic Mickey refurbished and they re-released the game. Rebrushed. Rebrushed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blind. Refurbished. Refurbished. Like everything else in Disney. Yeah. All right, we're now heading into the Pixar Animation Studios. We got Buzz Lightyear greeting us right here. We got Woody saying howdy howdy. They're promoting the new show Win or Lose. So pretty sick. Little preview of it. One, two, three. Cool. So this is the unicorn if you guys know from Inside Out, from Riley's Dreams. That's why it's called Dream Productions. It's all about the photo opportunities, guys. So right here, you got Inside Out 2. Got all the new characters. Ready, one, two, three. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, Joy, they're all here. Even Sadness, my favorite dude right here. Oh, that's your dude right there. Yeah, now. and then that's Miley's new guy. That What's <laughs> embarrassment? Yep. But here's Anxiety. See you later, Anxiety. 
So right now we made it into the Ravensburg Ravensburgers booth uh, for standby for Lorcana. And Jen's like, I don't know what this is. I know what it is. They're just pretty I'm, cards. <laughs> I'm not into it. I, I, no, I just like the art. I don't play I, the games. I, know, but I was trying not to get into it so I wouldn't be in this situation. Okay? Don't fight it. <laughs> don't fight it. But I am because I know the kids like it. So right. if anything, I'll, whatever I get, I'll give to them. But I was trying my hardest not to get into yeah. this. <laughs> But it well, is cool, I'm not gonna lie. A couple of the things are already sold out, but we're here, they're supposed to have giveaways. And on top of that, there's ex an exclusive set. They said you could buy it at Downtown Disney, but I don't know, they could get it here too, but it doesn't matter because they don't they do not do any discounts on the Glorcana, so. All right, we'll see how long this, we got in this line about 325, so we'll you see how long. You were just walking by and they opened oh, it up. Yeah, so you're okay. like, let's just go. So there was an exclusive mat. And let's see what else sold out. So yeah, that's when they have the, I think I'm gonna get the D23 box. Um, yeah, we'll check it out. Ooh. These are all the different um, Into the Ink lands. These are the next, the newest one, the Shimmering Skies. Huh. Well, we got out of the drama that is called the Ravensburger booth and we got the bag. So these were what they handed out. So it's a D23 exclusive holo of Mickey as a sorcerer. It has the D23 at the bottom and then it's an official Lorcano pin. Lorcana pin, I'm sorry. Yes. So we got two of them, got two and of them. Jen almost sold it. There was a guy standing at the end asking, hey, you want to sell your promo card was, for a hundred like, bucks? It was like a drug deal. He's like, hey, hey. You, you want to sell your promo for a hundred bucks? And I'm like, no, but I don't even know what a promo is. I guess it's this. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> you want to make a hundred bucks? We'll go back and make a deal. No, I'm keeping it. Yes, it's sir. Cute. We're keeping them. <laughs> yeah, let's go. And then... Oh, then we got some booster packs for Kai. Yeah, I just got, I, I know it doesn't matter what's inside, but I got one of each cover. Yes, this is the new one, the Shimmering Sky. So you got Maui, um, Donald, and Valena Lipon Von Tweets on the other <laughs> cover. I'm tired. I've been up since 4 o'clock. And then, and then, Nico got the one thing I wanted to come. The one thing he wanted was the D23 Lorcana edition. And that's what I wanted. And I don't care. Someone said that you could get it at Downtown Disney, but I'm here and I might as well get it. We got it here at the convention. Yes, and I have proof. So I think I might not even open that. I'm gonna keep that sealed. All right, woman, we are in the home stretch. <laughs> so we looked up our Lorcana cards. I need to correct myself. They're not chromo cards. They're promo cards. Oh, I did. You said chromo. I it's said promo. P R O M O. I, yeah, I can't. I can't hear. Well, like we were saying, <laughs> uh, we left the Lorcana booth or Ravensburger booth, and a guy at the end was like, "Hey, you want to sell your promo card for a hundred bucks?" And I looked at him. I was like, Psh. "Jen's like, what? What are you talking about?" And I said, "Hold, hold your card." Looked it up on eBay. People are selling the pin and the card give or take around $300. So I think we'll hold on to them. Maybe I'll list one and see what it's happens. Empty, I might need some cash. No, I'll <laughs> list it. I'm not going to take a hundred bucks. No way. Um, it's like a well, it's like hundred cash buy it now, you know, like yeah, I'll get it now. That's true. But it I think be, I like, could get more. Tonight, right? Yeah, we could, we could get more for it. I'll take a cheeseburger and sell it but for they, more later. They do look kind of cool. So I kind of want to keep it. That too. So yeah, that's the pin. That's the pin. I don't think it really, it's not really numbered or anything, but... No. It's a cool pin! Yeah, it is. So... And the card's cool, too. Yeah, so we're, we're sitting down, regrouping a bit, because I was a little bit too much on my feet. Um, <laughs> and we're probably going to do one or two more things and call it. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed us, taking you along with us. Let's see if we can finish this out. And make it worth our while and our pain in our feet. <laughs> All for you guys and for us too, so let's keep rolling. 
So right here guys is Disney on Broadway. They have a lot of stuff from the shows that are on Broadway. The Lion King, The Little Mermaid. This skull did painted by Julie Taylor. He's got a little button here if you want to make his leg head turn. Just be a little careful, okay? A little fragile. Okay, it's fragile. Use the baby Yes! Get him up there! It's, it's, well you have the Grogu version on your shirt, but there you go. That's cool. That's awesome. Like I said, we grew up, me and Jen, watching X-Men 97 on the OG. It was just X-Men, not X-Men 97. So right here at the Marvel Animation booth, they have Dr. Xavier's desk over here with Magneto's helmet. It's hanging out right here. We got a shot of the OG X-Men right there. That is sweet. Yes. X-Men 97 representing, guys. What's up, Google? <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Oh my god, the best thing. You are the best thing at the con, bro. See you later, dude. <laughs> so cool. So some of the merch that they have here, they actually have film cell cards. So they do... Buy six or more, you get five off. So it has info on the back and the front. 15 bucks. That is pretty cool, guys. It's just cool when you can see the Haunted Mansion represented here in the end zone. Sweet. We are finally in line to check out the Time Variance Authority, the Marvel booth here at Anaheim convention center for d23 all right we are making a move we are walking and we are actually stopping right in front of the welcoming desk here hey y'all welcome to the time variance authority the organization that monitors all of time pretty important stuff in it I'm Miss Minutes, and I'm here to welcome you to your future, working here at the TVA. <laughs> now you may be wondering, what role is right for me? Am I an intellectual analyst or a brawny Minuteman? Do I belong on the judge's bench or in the archivist's file room? Great news, it ain't up to you. We've already chosen your future for you. You may see our Minutemen will keep you on the right path through our incredible facility. Feel free to look through our time doors, but don't go walking in, Betty. You wouldn't want to break any rules on your first day at work, would you? Run along now, and don't do anything I wouldn't do, or you'll be proved out of existence. Have a lovely day! Some cool little wins. It's like you're looking in the windows in uh, time jumping through windows. See characters from Deadpool, Wolverine, Wakanda. Um, actually, it was cool. There was a Daredevil window there. So maybe a sign of things to come. I still want to know why Thor was crying with Deadpool. So right now we're in line. Uh, I believe we're going to try and meet Rocket Raccoon. It's cool the way they make it seem like the window is a door and then you actually go deep into it. So. I think those are the ones we're not supposed to go into. We're not supposed to go into, but we can see them. So that's pretty fun to see the scenes and stuff. So right now we're gonna just wait. Following along. Yes, right, yes. Do you have a touch any time? No. I didn't touch them. I looked at them. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Alright, I think we are next to see Rocket Raccoon. Let's see what he wants to talk about. It's supposed to be like Turtle Time with Crush, where he reacts to you, but we'll see. 
I don't know if we'll get part of this group or we might be the next one, so we'll see. You need to get in the front so we can talk to you. <laughs> what do I ask him? What do I talk to him about? You just go, oh, hey, Rocket, the last time I saw you, I helped you on Mission Brega to escape. Is this what you've been doing? <laughs> Let us go and see what's going on with Rocket Raccoon. Thank you. It's a stool, though. Hey! Look at this, more Terrans. <laughs> hey, how we doing there, Terrans? Doing all right. All right, look at you in the front. You are loaded down with all kinds of medals. What'd you win those for? <laughs> you know. No, I don't. That's literally why I asked. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean, you know? How would I know? You and I have never met before. We're meeting right now in this moment. Do you know who I am? Rocket. Okay, now I'm a little embarrassed then, because I don't know who you are. <laughs> but you've obviously got a lot of medals that you've won. Yep. And you say you know like I should know. You know of my exploits, I do not know of your exploits. And for that, please allow me to apologize. What's your name? Jesus. Jesus, I like that. I also like this, the scruff you got going on your face. You and me <laughs> both, pal. <laughs> yeah, that's a good look. And look at this. Oh, it's like everybody wanted to all kind of be a little like Rocket. You've got the fur on your face. You got the ears on the top of your head. All of you have the good looks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all right. This crowd I like. Now, do me a favor. While I still like you, get out of here so I can remember you fondly. <laughs> yeah, turn around, clear out. Nice to see you. Yeah. All right, good meeting you. All right, Jesus, get your crew out of here. Congrats on all your medals. Bye, Rocket. See ya. Bye, nice to meet you. <laughs> Yeah, and then we got these guys right here. So it's pretty cool. They have like costumes from the shows. You get to interact with Rocket, and at the end you get to see. Oh, this is the workshop. This is pretty sick. I like that. Ooh. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 what was his name? Oh, yeah. I don't remember his name. I'm Ouroboros. Nice to meet you, Loki. Ouroboros. Ouroboros. But he calls me OB. Yeah. Are you meant to be here? I don't know. Look at all this club. See, that's what I give them props is like. Yeah. The props. Like this. If you guys don't know what a 2.56 TVA encryption drive is. Is everyone an analyst? No, no. Uh, I have archivists and uh, and Minutemen. Minutemen. Ooh. But get Minutemen. Oh, I think you're right. I think you are Minutemen. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. And you're a judge, I think. Ooh. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. We are gonna judge a lot of people here today. <laughs> <laughs> How's it been in this workshop? Great. It's yeah. I've been here for an eternity. <laughs> For all time. All right. <laughs> Hang in there. <laughs> Are you meant to be here? I don't know. That's cool. Oh, let's go get some pie now. <laughs> it's always about the props right here. Look at this. Mullard. Mind your head. All right. <laughs> what do you think, babe? What do you think that about was that? Cool. Yeah. Really cool. It was really, it was pretty neat. <laughs> pretty neat. Yeah. So look at, so she and Jen, you ended up being what? A minute man. I got to pick what I wanted. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's nice enough. And I ended up being. A you got judge. judged to be a judge. I got judged to be a judge. Judge's bench. <laughs> and then we get a free token for what? Uh, one slice per one week. One slice per week. So let's go get some um, pie. Ooh, so hope you guys enjoyed that. That was the TVA Authority at Marvel Experience here at the D23. D23. I almost, I almost said Comic Con. <laughs> I almost forgot I was at D23. <laughs> All right, well, this is the Descendants booth, The Rise of Red. It's a Disney it's, original it's movie. already out. Yeah, it's on Disney Plus already, so 
keep out. So I think there's a free pin or something. We're here for the freebie. <laughs> hey, we got to make up for it somehow. Yeah. I mean, we've gotten some pretty cool merch so far. Yeah. Um, can't complain. It's honestly, it's just tough to do everything in three days or one day. One day, it's tough. Yeah, now it makes sense why you buy a three day. You do. If you can afford it. True, true. <laughs> That's why you guys gotta like and subscribe. To help, help, help us roll to more stuff, guys. Look at these guys. For Miley. That's Miley for Miley. Miley grew Look. up on this. Miley grew up watching Descendants. Descendants 3. Descendants 2. The OG right here, Descendants, the first one. Check it out. Oh, thank you. That is fun. Thank you. <laughs> copyright, copyright. <laughs> that is cool. It's like a club. <laughs> Marvel Spider-Man, that's for you, Kai. That is for Kyle. Sweet. So, at the Disney Junior booth, you can meet Minnie, which we did. And the kids could dance around here. But yeah. So for those of you that never been to a con and you're worried about having stuff to do for your, for your little ones, there are stuff down here, especially if you're Bluey fans. If you're Ariel fans, but I'm a fan of those guys up there, Deadpool and Wolverine. Well guys, that's going to do it for us. I can't last anymore. I have about an hour left of the uh, D23 experience, yeah. but I don't know if we can last. Uh, my feet, my knees are, I'm too old for this, but that Disney magic keeps us going. <laughs> you, you get tired when you leave something and then you see something else and you're just like, yeah, we were on our way out and we stopped three more times after we said we were done. But that's going to do it for our D23 Ultimate Fan Experience of 2024, guys. Thanks for watching. Let's roll out. Woo, D23. We'll see you next time because I want to be in a Star Wars movie. Bye, Chewie.